And I keep on telling Western Europeans that this is a sign that your civilization is ending. Check the Greek civilization, the Roman civilization, Assyrian, Babylon. When they are about to end, these are the telltale signs. And it's a fact. Because they don't know. The society is confused. Which civilization is ending? The Caucasian civilization, Western European, is collapsing. The no, Anglo-American civilization. Precisely. They are quarreling among themselves. Look. The American, Which civilization is going to take over? I'm interested in that. Well, the American Pediatric, uh, the American Association, of, the American Medical Association, right, was urging that Congress should pass a law removing uh, the classification of sex, that is male and female, from birth certificates. Guess what? The American Pediatric Association said, no, we can't do that because we know that there's X chromosome and Y chromosome. So even the medical community is complaining that everything about the LGBT is ideology. It is not backed by science. So their society is confused. As I said, four-year-olds can choose their gender and their parents cannot. Uh, even toilets, they're confused about what toilets uh, to open. A professor in Columbia University, medical uh, professor, goes to his class and says, oh, when women give birth, and he was alerted that it is sometimes male. Color. And so he said, ah, what? He, so he apologized. But then he wrote an article. What's happening here? We can't even teach what is scientific. Their society is confused. And Paul, you watch, they will soon collapse. Because they don't know what is normal from what is abnormal. How can I sit here? I'm an albino and you tell me that I'm normal. How can that be possible? You, uh, ab albinism. That's a genetic defect. I am not the opposite of you, Paul. I don't want you sitting there. I am an abnormality. That's a reality. And, but LGBT people don't accept it. And sometimes I laugh when people say, oh, but you see, they need help. Go there and tell them that it's an illness. They will slap your face. They think it is a right. They love it. This is what they do. That's why they removed it from the American Psych Diagnostic Statistical uh, uh, Manual. Because they think that this is their, who they are. Meanwhile, it's an abnormality. How can a society encourage abnormality? That society is confused. And it will show, you will see. The, 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 the consequences of LGBT activities are many, you know it. You are likely to have HIV AIDS 18% more likely than the average, the normal average. That the violence, the drug abuse, the suicide, the rates are all there. Suicide? Yes. Who, who, Don't worry. Why, why, why is anyone Because they can't stand it. The mental stress that they go through. Don't worry. We're providing a lot of social science data and health science data. It's part of the memorandum that the coalition is submitting. Thankfully, Professor Mollenbeck has done our research and he's given us permission to tender this in evidence before the, uh, uh, you know, the committee. The, the committee. <laughs>